Mr. Chairman, the next person would like to address the board is Mr. Michael Honeywell. speak this evening. I come to you because it is my duty as a citizen to address you on two issues. First, I would like to address the budget and the possibility of our property taxes being raised. Uh, I would like to say that I am against the raising of our property taxes, but my question is, when are the required three public hearings going to be held? So that we can address this more in detail. A second issue I'd like to address is the board appointment in post five. While the tax issue is a philosophical issue that good people can disagree on, the issue of the appointment of in post five is a rule of law issue. And I think as American citizens, we all agree that it is important that our citizens and especially our elected officials follow all of the laws on the books as they are written. We may not like the laws, but at least in my view, we are duty bound to follow even laws we don't like unless they are in direct conflict with the law of God. The law governing board appointments in Barber County is not one of those laws. Here's what has happened so far. February 6, 2012, the board voted 4-0 from the minutes, as I quote, that Mrs. Anna Sullivan filled the vacant District 5 Board of Education seat through the remainder of the current term. Mr. Parker's term was to expire December 31, 2012. The existence of HB 623, which requires board vacancies in Barber County to be filled by a special election, was brought to your attention in mid-March. On April 9, 2012, the Barber County Board of Elections scheduled a special election to fill the post 5 seat to coincide with the July 31, 2012 primary as requested by the Barber County School Board. The board is continuing to operate with the appointed member and to insist that a temporary appointment was allowable. The problem with this stand are numerous. One, the law governing vacancies here only states we are to have special elections. Two, the board did not vote for Ms. Sullivan to fill the seat until a special election. The vote was for her to finish the term. Three, if as the board has repeatedly stated, what has happened was allowable, why is the special election necessary? The fact that a special election has now been scheduled is basically an admission that a mistake has been made and that it needs to be corrected. The seat should be vacant until the special election is held. Even the GSBA manual addresses this issue with the following statement. The process for filling an unexpired term of a school board member is often defined by local legislation. If a school board does not have such local legislation, the process for filling the vacancy will be governed by state law, OCGA 20-2-4.1. Uh, we know that Bartow County has such local legislation, HB 623, as this law has only been applied once in the special election in post three in July of 2004. We believe that the mistake was an innocent one. The reaction to the mistake is what has been most disturbing to me. Only one board member has given us the courtesy of a reply on this issue, and that was the board was looking into it and would correct it if a mistake has been made. That was early on in this process. No one, ha no one will answer the simple question, <coughs> what specific statute makes the appointment legal? People make mistakes. It is a mark of character to admit your mistake and correct it. What message does it send to the employees and students in this school system for the board to blatantly disregard the law in this matter. If we are here to educate children and teach them to be good citizens, the board should lead by example. Admit that a mistake was made and correct it by leaving the seat vacant. You may win this and get away with it by continuing to ignore the public and dragging this out until it no longer matters. But in the end, all of Barton County loses when our elected officials send the message <coughs> that they are accountable to no one and they are above the law. May God lead you to the right decisions. Thank you. Thank you.